They arrived when Thompson was a small mining community without a road connection. Well, I stepped off the uh, train uh, in 1961 here. It was July 4th, and two days later it snowed three inches. But Red Sangster and his son Jack stuck it out for more than 50 years, and in the process, they stamped their family's name on the town becoming synonymous with baseball and a living link to Thompson's sports history, even when it looked like that past was going to fall by the wayside in the name of progress. But when you go into the corner with the Sangsters, you'd better be prepared for a battle. And that fighting spirit endeared them to the city that grew along with them and whose story is nearly inseparable from theirs. And while most Thompson old-timers probably can't recall when they first met Red, his influence still lingers on even now that he's gone.